Welcome to Zygmatech Consulting Limited Learning Hub. Today, I'll be taking you on basic technology. And the topic we'll be treating today is processing of materials, wood. And at the end of this class, students should be able to know how timbers are produced, growth, and how they are transported to sum up and to the finishing goods. And under the processes of material, we will be looking at timbers, growth of a tree, falling of a tree. And the final topic for today, which will be timber convection. What is timber? Timber can be defined as a part of a tree, called for the production of technological product like furniture, toy, like your table at home, your cabinet in the kitchen. Timber production. Timber is produced when tree is cut or felled. A tree has to grow to a maturity before it fall, converted, seasoned, and treated for furniture purpose or industrial purpose. Wood. Wood is one of the oldest material in technology. It's composed of cellulose, lignin, and other minor minerals such as starch, resin, wax, and gum. When closely observed, you know you see that wood is made up of a thin thread-like unit called fibers. If you look at the picture, you see that there's a thin thread-like there. That is the fiber you can see, and also you can also see the parts of a tree. The green parts that purpose, uh, people know as leaf can also be called as crown. You have the trunk, the root, where they obtain their minerals and salt. We have two types of wood. We have hardwood and softwood. Hardwood. These are gotten from the Zygios tree. They have broad leaves and their seeds are enclosed in case. Some examples include Maogani, Afara, Opepe, Abua, Omo, Final Antique. And most of all these materials are gotten from different aspects of the country. Like teak is common in the western region of the Nigeria. Softwood. Not as the name implies that it's soft like the foam at home. No, it's based on the nature and how it responds to temperature. This, when talk about soft shoes, soft shoes are gotten from coniferous tree, tree that bear naked seed, which are in cones. They have narrow leaves and grow in a temperate regions of the world. Example, examples include cedar, pins, fin, and Europe and European word white wood. From the picture, you can see example that one of the example that is common that people know as Christmas tree. Now we we'll talk about of growth of a tree. Growth of a tree. Every single tree plant must grow as a standing timber in two ways. Vertical growth and horizontal growth. Vertical growth. A tree grows vertically downward through the root and the shoot, and upward through the stem, branches, and leaves. The root draws water and mineral salt from the head, which is then transported to the leaves through the stem by photosynthesis. Horizontal growth. This is the process where the cambium layer produce new layers of cell annually, means yearly, as the tree hardens outward to form a bark. A bark. This growth increases the diameter of the tree to become the trunk, which we use for timber. Felling of tree. The term fellings of trees means cutting down trees. The fellings of trees is done using chainsaw, as you can see in the diagram below. The felled trees are cut into a lot and take to somi where they are converted into plants. Fellings of train is done in two areas, namely government forest reserve area and free area. We will now we'll look at government forest reserve area. Government reserve free area 
This is the government home area. This property belongs to federal government. The forest reserve area is guided by the forest guide. Hence, it is difficult for anybody to cut down any tree in the forest reserved area without the permission from the government. The amount of money paid for the timber to be cut down in the forest reserved area depends on the volumes of the train to be cut down. Hence, this money paid to the government is known as OTV, means outturned volume. Free area. This is the area outside the forest reserved area and it is owned by individual. The amount of money paid to the government by the timber contractors for permission to cut down any tree in the free area for commercial purpose is called tariff. Don't forget, government forest reserved area, the money paid in such environment is called OT, OTV, outturn volume, while in free area is called tariff. Method of transporting logs, also known as timber. How do you transport them from the forest to the sawmill? Logs are transported from the forest to sawmill where they are sawed into a required length and size for plant, especially for commercial purpose. Method of transporting logs are by road transport, by train, and by river or waterways. And this waterway is common in river states. Timber conversion. After transporting your timber to the sawmill, the next thing is to convert it to plank. Wood conversion is the process of splitting log into a smaller commercial sizes, either at the sawmill or at the forest. The popular method of conversion of logs of timber into planks are the plane, or also known as true and true method the quarter sewing method or the tangential sewing method. The plain method is sewing the timber in a straight flat line, while the quarter ring is sewn by through the ashia or the axis of the timber, while the tangential is sewn by a certain angle, which is determined by the sawmiller. These are the diagram. You can see the plane sewing is a straight, horizontal, and the quarter ring through the axis of the train and the tangential. Now, have you completed the topic so far? And to test your ability that to ascertain what you have learned, that you really understand it, I would like to introduce to you a software exam guide for both secondary school and both secondary school junior and senior. Now, today we'll be looking at uh, for junior basic technology, you go to practical, you can choose theory or objective, but we'll be looking, picking objective. If, as you can see, you have different topics here, subjects. Let's pick basic technology, 215 paper 2. Also, you can choose um, number of subjects, the number of questions you want. Let's pick 60. You also, you can select the topics of interest. As you can see, let's pick material and processing. Let's start. Let's go, you know, we have question one to 34. We'll be looking at 19. Let's pick 19. The following are building material except dash. Like I said earlier that wood is one of the oldest material in industry. And the option here, as you can see, we have wood, lactarite, glass, cement, and trowel. Wood is used for building construction in industry. We also make use of lactarite, which is a road industry, glass for warehouse, cement for plastering, and trowel for carrying cement. The answer here is wood. Let's look at another one, question 30. Now, one of the most important aspects of wood is to construct our uh, windows, doors, and roofing and floor. Here, the question 30 said, the types of doors drawn below is dash. And we have panel door, batten door, edging door, flush door, and glaze door. The answer here is panel door. 
Now, question 31. Solid panel door is best used in dash. Yes, as we know the panel door, they are good for both uh, industry doors and home. And here we have dining, bedroom, main entrance, living rooms, and toilet. The best place you can use a panel door is main entrance. This will be the end of today's topic. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in next class.